Yashar, Jasher 20. And at that time, Avraham journeyed from the plain of Mamre, and he went to the land of the Pelishitim, and he dwelt in Gerar. It was in the 25th year of Avraham's being in the land of Canaan, and the 100th year of the life of Avraham, that he came to Gerar in the land of the Pelishitim. And when they entered the land, he said to Sarah, his woman, Say you are my sister to anyone that shall ask you, in order that we may escape the evil of the inhabitants of the land. And as Avraham was dwelling in the land of the Pelishitim, the servants of Avimelech, king of the Pelishitim, saw that Sarah was exceedingly beautiful. And they asked Avraham concerning her. And he said, She is my sister. And the servants of Avimelech went to Avimelech, saying, A man from the land of Canaan is come to dwell in the land, and he has a sister that is exceeding fair. And Avimelech heard the words of his servants, who praised Sarah to him. And Avimelech sent his officers, and they brought Sarah to the king. And Sarah came to the house of Avimelech, and the king saw that Sarah was beautiful, and she pleased him exceedingly. And he approached her and said to her, What is that man to you with whom you did come to our land? And Sarah answered and said, He is my brother. And we came from the land of Canaan to dwell wherever we could find a place. And Avimelech said to Sarah, Behold, my land is before you. Place your brother in any part of this land that pleases you. And it will be our duty to exalt and elevate him above all the, above all the people of the land, since he is your brother. And Avimelech sent for Avraham, and Avraham came to Avimelech. And Avimelech said to Avraham, Behold, I have given orders that you shall be honored as you desire on account of your sister Sarah. And Avraham went forth from the king, and the king's present followed him. As at evening time, before men lie down to rest, the king was sitting upon his throne, and a deep sleep fell upon him, and he lay upon the throne and slept till morning. And he dreamed that an angel of Yahuwah came to him with a drawn sword in his hand. And the angel stood over Avimelech and wished to slay him with the sword. And the king was terrified in his dream. And said to the angel, In what have I sinned against you, that you come to slay me with your sword? And the angel answered and said to Avimelech, Behold, you die on account of the woman which you did yesternight bring to your house, for she is a married woman, the woman of Avraham who came to your house. Now therefore return that man his woman, for she is his woman. And should you not return her, know that you will surely die, you and all belonging to you. And on that night there was a great outcry in the land of the Pelashitim, and the inhabitants of the land saw the figure of a man standing with a drawn sword in his hand, and he smote the inhabitants of the land with the sword. Yea, he continued to smite them. And the angel of Yahuwah smote the whole land of the Pelishitim on that night. And there was a great confusion on that night and on the following morning. And every womb was closed and all their issues and the hand of Yahuwah was upon them on account of Sarah, woman of Avraham, 
whom Avimelech had taken. And in the morning Avimelech rose with terror and confusion and with a great dread. And he sent and had his servants called in. And he related his dream to them. And the people were greatly afraid. And one man standing amongst the servants of the king answered the king, saying, O sovereign king, restore this woman to her man, for he is her man. For the like happened to the king of Mitzrayim when this man came to Mitzrayim. And he said concerning his woman, She is my sister, for such is his manner of doing when he comes to dwell in the land in which he is a stranger. And Pharaoh sent and took this woman for a woman. And Yahuwah brought upon him grievous plagues until he returned the woman to her man. Now, therefore, O sovereign king, know what happened yesternight to the whole land. For there was a very great consternation and great pain and lamentation. And we know that it was on account of the woman which you did take. Now, therefore, restore this woman to her man, lest it should befall us as it did to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and his subjects, and that we may not die. And Avimelech hastened and called, and had Sarah called for, and she came before him, and he had Avraham called for, and he came before him. And Avimelech said to them, What is this work you have been doing in saying you are brother and sister? And I took this woman for a woman. And Avraham said, Because I thought I should suffer death on account of my woman. And Avimelech took flocks and herds and men servants and maid servants and a thousand pieces of silver, and he gave them to Avraham, and he returned Sarah to him. And Avimelech said to Avraham, Behold, the whole land is before you. Dwell in it wherever you shall choose. And Avraham and Sarah, his woman, went forth from the king's presence with honor and respect. And they dwelt in the land, even in Gerar. And all the inhabitants of the land of the Peleshitim and the king's servants were still in pain through the plague which the angel had inflicted upon them the whole night on account of Sarah. And Avimelech sent for Avraham, saying, Pray now for your servants to Yahuwah Elohechem, that he may put away this mortality from among us. And Avraham prayed on account of Avimelech and his subjects. And Yahuwah heard the prayer of Avraham, and he healed Avimelech, and all his subjects.